go can go can go up also can go down also depends on the country situation but most of the time it will be go up now issue is there how to measure rate of measurement of the value of money this how to measure like uh, we should know some instrument we should know some methodology like today if i have taken 2 lakh 2 lakh rupees loan from a bank for a tenure of 4 years then after 4 years or during next 4 years how much we should pay in 2 lakh rupees we should pay 2 lakh 40000 or we should pay 2 lakh 60000 collectively not single time like either you are paying in the form of installment or emi or regular interval repayment prepayment or total payment whatever you are making the payment total payment will be 2.4 lakh or 2.6 lakh or maybe 3 lakh any instrument or any method should be there then how to measure this rate of rate of changing the value of money that is called interest that is called interest interest is a just mechanism to just measure the rate of rate of the value changing means how value changing the how value of money is changing with time that instrument or that mathematical formula or that mathematical condition is called interest basically interest we can uh, define in two ways because interest will depend now now we understood one one thing very clearly some amount is there some money is there we are just taking for some time period okay we don't know how to measure means value how we'll appreciate it with respect to time we we are trying to measure that appreciation or rate of measurement of the value of money with with the instrument of interest with the mathematical definition or with the mathematical explanation that is called interest means time period we know principal amount we know these two variable we know now third variable is coming interest means you can say that is rate means how rate is changing with time means based on these three variable only we can just divide interest in two ways one is si one is ci if you are taking for a same period of time means time t is constant for both of the si and ci then only you have two variable either rate small r and principal amount p now if rate and p both are constant with time then we can say it is si means the rate is also not changing means this year whatever rate was there next year also you will get same rate and whatever principal amount right now is there next year also principal amount will not change means what calculation we are doing for the rate as a base of principal amount that will be fixed for your entire tenure today if you have taken 2 lakh then maybe entire tenure you have to pay the interest for 2 lakh only your base will not change means if rate and principal amount both are constant then we can say it is a simple interest no complication if we are making some complication means rate is constant but principal amount we are keep on changing how we can change the principal amount we are keep on add the one year base is this one during one year you got some interest base will change you add the interest with principal amount then new base next year base will become different next to next year next year base will be different means you are just making principal amount variable r is constant but p is variable if you are making p variable and rate constant then it is called complex interest or compound interest anything you can say means we are making some complication or another way we can think whatever interest we are earning in the form of simple interest we are again taking interest on simple interest we can say ci is the another format of interest over interest or interest over the simple interest simple interest is whatever interest you are giving that is concluding it will not add to principal amount now compound interest is doing whatever simple interest you got in one year they will add in principal then principal will change for next year again next year whatever is simple interest you got again will be added means finally what you are concluding for compound interest interest over the simple interest is called 